Good morning, good morning. It is Thursday, November 4th of 2021. We are on our way from the Fort Walton Beach, Shalimar area, heading towards Mayo, Florida for the, well, the metropolis <laughs> of Mayo, Florida for the 2021 edition of Florida Stock. Some of you uh, that may listen may wonder what is this word stock? Well, it's S-T-O-C. It's a group of riders that either currently or for the most part formerly were owners of Honda STs, either the earlier 1100 version or the later 1300 version. But since Honda no longer manufactures this bike, it uh, is becoming a bit of a, of a rarity, although it's still a wonderful platform. So the majority of the stock riders are now former ST riders, or they have good friends that they just want to include in the group because there's a, a tremendous amount of of uh, kinsmanship and camaraderie that can be found in groups like this. I always love this stretch of Highway 20 just here on the east side of Blue Water Bay, an area called Choctaw Beach as it meanders along the northern coast of the Choctahatchee Bay. I don't know that I can get much of it in the camera for you or not since I have the camera mounted on the left side of the bike. A little bit back behind me. Of course, on a clear and sunny day, it's a much prettier view than what we are limited to today. ever travel out here in the northwest Florida area, I-10 is certainly an option, but uh, if, you don't, if you're not in as big a rush, you can get down and travel some of these highways. This is, like I said, Highway 20. It doesn't have much coastline other than across this bay and a few other smaller waterways. You can go down on Highway 98 and there's a uh, a road that goes through South Walton County and through some of the communities that have just been exploding down in that area and you can drive that highway the name of it is escaping right me right now but you see bumper stickers all over the place promoting that highway in South Walton County it goes through some of the communities like Seaside and Watercolors Beautiful, beautiful areas, certainly very touristy, but um, a lot of condo communities, not so many hotels, probably those are coming, but a lot of rental properties still to spend uh, some nice days close to some of the most beautiful beaches, I believe, probably in the world. <laughs> I may be a little biased, but they are some beautiful beaches along the northwest Florida coastline. If you've never seen these beaches, you may not understand why why this area is called the Emerald Coast. But on beautiful days, the water is just emerald green. The majority of our bottom is very sandy, which I know quite well from being a pretty active scuba diver and spear fisherman in the area. And uh, so we do have some really nice limestone natural bottom reefs that we do enjoy diving. The majority of what I dive as a spear fisherman are some of the artificial reefs that are put out both by private fishermen as well as our uh, local tourism area industry to help attract fishermen into uh, coming here to fish which is some of the greatest fishing around. If you've ever heard of Destin, Florida, they call it the friendliest fishing, fishing village. Fishing. Sometimes it's hard to talk with this helmet on. <laughs> they, uh, 
they call it the friendliest fishing village in the world. And it is a very active and very productive one. Destin Harbor, uh, the Emerald Grand condominiums there right, in the, right on the uh, pass that comes from the Gulf into Choctahatchee Bay. It's a beautiful area. Definitely check it out if you're down in this portion of Northwest Florida. Whether you spend a few days or just come through for a few hours, you'll enjoy it. Further west of us, as you head toward Pensacola, you can travel along US 98. You can go out on Navarre Beach and travel that uh, seashore highway. I've got a video that shows a lot of that. Some from uh, the Florida Stock event back in 2019. I'll uh, possibly put a link to that or a card to that up in the right hand corner. And a beautiful ride along there, a number of pull-offs with some of the beach access points that are really nice to uh, visit whether you're going to get in the water or just stop for a for a look and a little bit of a walk on the white sand. So we are out in a little bit of the country area between the Niceville Blue Water Bay area headed towards Freeport where we'll be stopping for breakfast. All right, breakfast is done, and we are headed east on US 20 out of Freeport, Florida. We'll definitely get some more video as we get down on the coastal highway on the other side of Panama City. But between here and there, there's not a whole lot to see. Nice little uh, bit of a twisty road that Tim had routed out for us here over on the north side of Panama City. Uh, you definitely are seeing the impacts of Hurricane Michael from a couple years ago. If you're able to see out on the left and the right, there's quite a bit of uh, tree fall still in the area and the uh, absence of large taller trees is another sign of that. Well, here we are in Port St. Joe on the Gulf Coast over on the east side of Panama City. And we are about to get on US 98 along the coast of the North Gulf of Mexico. The skies have cleared since earlier this morning. So hopefully we'll have some nice views out over the Gulf towards uh, some of the barrier islands, and St. Georgia Island specifically. Wish we had time to ride out there. It's beautiful on St. George Island. If you've never been out there, it's uh, worth a ride. And there's a state park out there. There's a campground out there. Certainly, riding through the mountains is a beautiful experience, but riding along the coast has many attractions as well.
Last time I rode this route, it was rainy and very foggy. Could not see any of what I'm getting to enjoy right now. water on the left because of the uh, wind break of this causeway and a bit choppier over on the right because of the exposure to the wind coming out of the southeast Had wings, I just take off and go straight right out of the bay. Oh, there's bugs all over the lens. Wow. I gotta clean that off, don't I? Now you can see a little bit of the view back over my shoulder here. Before we leave the coastline. Hockney Bay, view to the north of the bridge, similar view to the south, I guess that's actually west, and then to my right is the east. Headed into Panacea.